Hello there fellow registers. I believe many of you have come across these scammers, uh, sorry not scammers, fishers, that you see here and there on, um, on, well, TF2 trading sites such as TF2 Outpost, ones that, you know, add you and then give you a fake phishing link. Something like this, or uh, this, well, it'll show, lead to an account. I had made a little something, uh, to help us get rid of them, at least take a step towards that. So as you can see here, this one's a legitimate one, it's spelled correctly and everything, and this, I've got my account signed in and everything. This one is fake, and this one is also fake. Now, I'm, now what my script does, very, now you, you know, you, and also what they, by the way, what they do is they, um, actually ask you now to upload a file, a, called Sentry file. And what the sentry file is, <laughs> that's, that's try out for me, what the sentry file actually does is, it's basically what stores, when you, you know, when you, you know, log into Steam Guard through the Steam Client, that's where it stores it to say, okay, you have, you now, that's you, so basically it allows them to not even need Steam Guard in the first place, and to make it think that that's actually your computer. So, I've made this little user script, and what you do, is just enable it. It only works on these two so far, but I can try to um, try to modify it. But all it does is I'll just quickly reload the page, and basically, as you'll see here, it'll basically just fill in random data, random thing to that, and also it actually changes it from a file upload to a text box. Hopefully, also causing their stuff to crash or at least cause some weird issues with their bots and their basically their scammer software. I'll be adding more URLs as I get them. Please feel free to send them to me. They should be in the description. Uh, just any more, um, any more like phishing links that you see, and I'll add them to the script to to, to basically run this on. And yeah, and you just leave it in the background, and it'll run. And you just go and do whatever else, and like I don't know one of these many tabs, and you can you can just do whatever you want, and um, yeah and it'll go and spam up their servers. And hopefully it will cause them at least the slightest bit of, well, at least a couple of issues, you know, just a little bit of, you know, frustration, which I guess is, it's a start. Anyway, so yeah, all you have to do is download the user script, install it, so, in fact, you know, I'll go through installing it. Let's see, I'll just quickly disable it. Okay, so what you would do, is you would so let's say you had you're on this and you had Tampa Monkey. What you do is you go under here and do add a new script, and you'll see in a second this will pop up. Um, then you want to go to the script here. I'll be posting this as a link. Just copy the entire thing, go back here, paste it in, save it, Control S or hit that button. It said it already exists because I already have it, and it will be enabled already for you. Then you just go to one of these, and just simply go on to it and refresh. If you don't have it, um, you can just, I guess, copy this. In fact, I'll, I'll probably post them uh, in the description, uh, with a lot of warnings so people don't just randomly click it and then sign in with their Steam details. <laughs> and yeah. And then you just let it go. And yeah. Very easy, and it should cause them a quite a few problems. And I'm already running this with a few other people. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.